Welcome everyone to another Mauer Geek video. Today I'm going to be answering the question I've been getting a lot, and that is what do I use to protect my machine from a malicious attack? So I actually use two applications to achieve overall good protection. The first application I use is Sophos Home Antivirus. The second application I use is Komodo Firewall 10. I want to say right off the bat that even though I use these products on my machine and I endorse them, if they do not perform adequately in my future reviews, it will be said so. They will not be treated any differently than any other product that I test. And um, if so, I will, um, I will tell you that and uh, I will no longer use them on my machine, much like um, what has happened to Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Anyways, um, Sophos Home Antivirus is a simple, straightforward, signature-based engine. That's all I wanted because honestly, Komodo really doesn't have great signatures. Um, basically, it has automatic virus protection, which checks uh, files that try to execute against uh, the virus database. Um, if they're known to be malicious, it blocks them automatically. Uh, it also blocks weird websites that are known to host malware. It also has potentially unwanted app detection, so any kind of uh, PUPs that may try to uh, load up that are known to be uh, unwanted are also blocked. So there's not a lot of options with Sophos, but I wanted a good, straightforward, signature-based engine to um, kind of deal with known malware. And it also allows me to verify files that I may be using in my reviews, as Sophos signatures are pretty good. So that's my signature-based engine. The other engine that I use uh, for unknown malware and zero-day malware that's not caught by Sophos is um, Komodo Firewall. I use their HIPS engine, their auto containment, and their virus scope as well as their firewall. Um, auto containment basically uh, isolates files or weird files that may try to execute um, from the rest of the system. Um, virus scope will um, analyze the behavior of the file if it's trying to do weird things and make um, odd changes to the system, uh, it'll alert me and it'll allow me to terminate the file and get rid of it. I use their HIPS engine as well, or their host intrusion prevention, um, which also allows me to um, be alerted to any odd files that may be trying to make weird changes to the system or unauthorized changes to the system. Um, if the file has a weird name or um, is asking for a weird permission or odd things, I will generally block the uh, changes. Uh, I really haven't changed many settings. Um, the only thing I've really done is turned off website filtering because honestly Komodo's website filtering signatures are not that good. Um, and Sophos does the website filtering for me, so there's really no need for it. I also use their file rating system, so any types of unknown files um, are checked against Komodo's uh, cloud. Uh, if the file is known to be malicious, Komodo will actually block the execution of the file. So that's what I use to protect my machine. Again, I really haven't changed many settings on any of these programs that I use. I just turned on auto containment and turned off website filtering. That's really all that I've changed. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, but that's what I use to protect my machine against malware. So, uh, it's a really good combination. I haven't had a malware infection in quite some time. Actually, I haven't had a malware infection in a very long time. So, um, I highly recommend this combination. It works really well. I actually use this on all of my machines on my network. So any types of uh, malware that do try to come in are usually caught and dealt with. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I will talk to you later.